Is Kim Sonho really the answer to South Korea's deteriorating cancel culture? Will Kim Sonho eliminate the cancel culture of South Korea? Days passed, and Kim Sonho's name continued to trend globally, across dozens of countries, along with another hashtag, hashtag cancel the cancel culture. And now, increasingly Korean internet users were expressing dissatisfaction with cancel culture. Rather than demands and support for his cancellation, as many expected from NETS, as they are often referred to petitions were popping up in South Korea asking he be reinstated on a popular variety show. While it is standard for a portion of the fandom to stand by a celebrity during a scandal, the reaction extended beyond his dedicated supporters. People with only a vague interest in the actor were driven to engage by a distaste for this particular form of cancel culture. Around the globe, more petitions emerged demanding his contracts be reinstated. People began repeat watching his K-dramas on Netflix to show their support. And slowly, attention turned to the brands he had endorsed, who had distanced themselves from the actor. Normally when a celebrity is cancelled, in South Korea, similar to China, they lose the majority of followers, aside from their avid fandom. Cancelling all contracts quickly is the standard move, to make sure the brand isn't consumed by the celebrity's fall from public favor. It is also a way for brands to show they support public sentiment. And yet in this case, Kim Son Ho wasn't falling. Instead, social media users began initiating boycotts of brands who had judged and abandoned him. For brands, this is an unforeseen development. In trying to avoid the fallout in the traditional way, many are finding they face a new, more complicated public relations dilemma. One example, calls for South Koreans to boycott Domino's, who quickly distanced themselves from the actor. This stance was adopted by his fans in other countries, such as India, who encouraged their own local boycotts. Suddenly, what was an internal South Korean marketing issue, threatened international repercussions for a global chain. Korean networks went to the extreme step of blurring Kim Son Ho's face in footage. Amongst the ensuing outrage, International audiences began to ask questions, and certain questions appeared repeatedly. If international streamers like Netflix, Apple, and Amazon etc. are not just licensing shows from South Korea but producing them, why did the opinions of a small clique of South Korean network executives matter? And just like that, the power structure within the industry was placed under the spotlight. K-drama was supported by the government as a part of a long-running initiative to give South Korean entertainment an international audience, a move that over the decades has proven hugely successful. But it never really occurred to anyone international broadcasting would lead to international productions, who didn't require full Korean participation or societal approval when casting. Netflix, and Kim Son Ho. For streaming giant Netflix, Kim Son Ho continues to be an incredibly popular figure. His K-dramas Start Up and Hometown Cha 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 have performed extremely well. An interesting question remains. If an actor has a massive international fanbase, from a monetary perspective, is an international streamer required to cancel him? In the past Netflix has produced entertainment whose content has upset conservative elements in certain countries. They are generally aware of this from the outset, and very rarely remove material. So, the Kim Son Ho situation has the possibility to set a number of very unusual precedents. Will an international platform respond to the request of global fans, and utilize a talent regardless of local market opinion? Korean cancellation of celebrities usually means networks won't give them roles to appease a conservative culture. But if an actor isn't cancelled outside his own country, it can be argued international platforms have no need to comply.
South Korean celebrities have been cancelled in the last two years at an increasing rate. Even the Korean public, if their social media is anything to go by, is beginning to experience cancel fatigue. Social media has been integral to the jump in celebrity cancellations. In recent times a number of entertainment management agencies have attached themselves to legal counsel, warning that anonymous online posts will be treated legally as defamation. Merely the perception of misconduct is enough to damage a career. Even in cases where a South Korean celebrity is cleared of an accusation, they are still normally expected to step aside for a grace period before returning to work. It is this factor which international fans are struggling with, that the accuracy of claims is partially irrelevant, in regards to career status. Whatever the outcome, a star embroiled in a scandal won't appear in new films or television for the foreseeable future. With Kim Son Ho now believed to be hospitalized and his ex-partner removing the post, citing misunderstandings, the story continues to unfold. The details of a private relationship are being argued and dissected on an international stage. Is this the end of the cancel culture of South Korea?